Number 382. Kyogre, the Sea Basin Pokemon. Kyogre is named in mythology as the Pokemon that expanded the sea by covering the land with torrential rains and towering tidal waves. It took to sleep after a cataclysmic battle with Groudon. Ooh hoo hoo, back at it with the legendaries. Back when legendaries were kind of exciting, like there weren't that many of them, and so that like every single one felt kind of special, even when it had a goofy head like this one. Yeah, I kind of really appreciate most elements of the design, and most I will expand on later, but it looks like a cross between a whale and a shark. It has two, like, are they dorsal fins? <laughs> Not the person to ask yeah, here, and so. they're dorsal fins now. <laughs> That being said, the Bulbapedia article did describe Kyogre as a massive whale-like Pokemon with two big pectoral fins, each with four white square-shaped nails. Nails! <laughs> nails! <laughs> Why? Well, whales are mammals and uh, all, all mammals have nails. No, they don't! <laughs> no, they don't. All mammals have nails. <laughs> no! Name one that doesn't. Your wife's here. I'm going to go ask her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. The answer was whales. Whales don't have nails. Vindication. Your oh. wife, the renowned animal scientist, has told me that whales almost certainly don't have fingernails. <laughs> okay, okay. But she did say most mammals have nails, so... Why don't we call it Eve? <laughs> no. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not getting away with this one. Um, Bulbapedia, yeah. you were wrong. Sammy, you were also wrong, but at least you'll admit it. <laughs> <laughs> um, nails, huh? Yeah, I don't like that at all. Just imagining it, like, picking things up. <laughs> with its hands? <laughs> yeah. So my word for this Pokemon is Leviathan. So something I have found interesting in my studies of this Pokemon is that the story of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald seems to be somewhat inspired by the sort of Jewish concepts of the Leviathan and the Behemoth. Right. Which I found very interesting. So the Leviathan, of course, represents the water and the behemoth represents the land and they lock themselves in battle, much like Kyogre and Groudon do. Now, unfortunately, I don't have an extensive study of Judaism, uh, so I can't really make any assertions beyond that. I just found it interesting. And there was one picture I found you know, highly scientific source. One picture on Wikipedia had this third buddy in there called, um, I think it was Zuzu. But... Ziz. Ziz? Yeah. Uh, needless to say, I didn't end up doing that extra research. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what else I found, though, was that there uh, sometimes is a third buddy, Ziz, who represents what? The skies. And so that gets you your full weather trio, as we call it. That gets you Kyogre, that gets you Groudon, that gets you Rayquaza. I think it's cool to see Pokemon pulling from myth in these ways, and I something I'd love to learn more about. And maybe you, listener, can research it and make a YouTube video I can watch so I don't have to do my own research, please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that good at it. I don't I don't pay enough attention and then I get distracted by another tab, so help me out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Research for another day then. That's interesting though. What did you rate this Pokemon? So I gave Kyogre a 4 out of 5. Yeah, I'm also going to give it a 4 out of 5. Which brings us to 8 out of 10 for Kyogre. Next! Next.